17 fifth grade girls that make up Girl Scout Troop 2975 in Arlington, Virginia. That's right near Washington, D.C. We decided to, to learn about that for our Girl Scout Troop Worlds Award, where we are supposed to work together to help our local community in a lasting way. My brother did a school project last year that talked about problems local bats were facing. We decided we wanted to learn about bats and tell other people how important they are to our world. Before we started this project, we all had different impressions of bats. Here were our thoughts. After you watch that, we'll tell you what we learned about bats in Virginia and elsewhere. And why we should consider bats. Hi, I'm Samantha. I think that bats are good listeners and they have good eyesight. Hi, I'm Alexandra, and I think bats are kind of scary, but they could be interesting. Hi, I'm Leah, and when I think of bats, I think of nocturnal. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and when I think of bats, I think of nighttime and flying. Hi, I'm Jessica, when I think of bats, I think of flying nocturnal animals. Hi, I'm Lily, and when I think of bats, I think of night, flying, wings, nocturnal, and black. Hi, I'm Genevieve, and when I think of bats, I think of the only type of mammal that can fly. Hi, I'm Kelly, and when I think of a bat, I think of a nocturnal creature that's black and flies. Hi, I'm Nadawa, and when I think of a bat, I think of a flying creature that has wings. Hi, I'm Elsie, and bats remind me of vampires. Uh, hi, I'm Catherine, and I think of Stella Luna and Rose. Hi, I'm Audrey, and I think that bats are black flying creatures that eat mosquitoes, they live in a narrow house, and they help our communities. I'm Julia, and when I think of bats, I think of ultrasonic waves. Hi, I'm Cherry. Did you know that bat dung fertilizes plants? Hi, I'm Jillian, and when I think of bats, I think they're icky, small, nocturnal animals. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Nora. When I think of bats, I think of cute little flying things. Hi, I'm Alexandra. Audrey here. And I'm Lily. We're, We're here, here to, to tell, tell you about, about bat, bat benefits. benefits. Bats are very interesting creatures and they have many benefits. Bats are like free pest control. They eat mosquitoes and other harmful bugs. Another, Another way that bats are useful is that they pollinate flowers and spread out seeds. Even bat waste is valuable as natural fertilizer. By pollinating plants, nectar bats give us food like avocados, figs, and bananas. Now for local bats. There are more than 1,200 species of bats worldwide and 47 species in just Virginia. They represent four distinct groups. Vesper bat, bats, ghost-faced bats, leaf-nosed bats, and free-tailed bat families. In, in Virginia, we have at least 17 different types of bats. In 2005, the Virginia General Assembly made a Virginia state bat, the Virginia Big Ear. We hope you take consideration to the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. We are here to tell you about bat physiology. That is the study of bats' features and characteristics. Bats are the only flying mammal. Against the myth, bats are not flying. Bats have wings as thin as the tissue in your eyelid. Bats have huge ears. That means they can hit really well. Don't bats look like flying mice? Yes, but they're not mice. Bats don't act like mice either. They are not rodents and do not know Bats use echolocation. It's kind of like sonar. Sonar is using sound waves to locate objects. A bat's closest relative is a shrew. Check out our poster that shows you what a bat looks like up close. That's and all. That's all for bats bats about about geology. geology. Bye. People have made up a lot of things about bats. Mostly because they don't understand them. Here are some true facts about bats. Most bats eat insects, and no bats drink human blood. Vampire bats are the only kind of bat that drinks animal blood. One of the more 1,000 bat species, there are only three, are vampire bats. If you get bitten by one, you will not become a vampire. Bats are shy and gentle, and they won't hurt you. Some of us eat, they even think they're really cute. Many stories that are scary and untrue are told about bats. bats can see really well and they are not blind. Another myth is that bats will attack people. Not true. Why would you want to fight something smaller than you? Bats don't fly into people's hair. If they can find tiny insects in the dark, they won't get in, caught in your teeth. Bats are not dirty and they don't carry rabies. But they are still wild animals so you don't want to touch them. All, All bad, bad myths are
incorrect. And don't, don't believe them because you'll regret. Do you know the threats to bats? One threat to bats is white nose syndrome. White nose syndrome is a white fungus. It grows on parts of the bat that are furless. It mostly affects the wings, ears, and muscles. Studies show that this messes with their hibernation. That causes the bats to lose body fat. Bats need their energy to hibernate all winter and then wake up ready to fly and find food. What is another threat to bats? Wind turbines. What are those? Wind turbines are huge fans on poles that are an effective way to create energy. However, that creates a problem for the bats because the bats can get caught in the fan blades. Keep your local habitat. because they can change the nutrition available to all wildlife. The pollution harms the plants water, leaving bat food with unhealthy food and damaged homes. You can help stop pollution in mangroves. Stop using chemicals on your lawns and gardens. Walk or ride your bike instead of driving. Dispose your garbage and recycle. By doing these simple things, you can help the habitat of bats. And I'll be talking to you about Ann Freshop from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. She is here to tell us about bats. She talked to us about how bats live, threats to bats, bat physiology, bat benefits, and bat myths. Here is a clip from part of her presentation. The military studies bats to learn more about how they fly, about how they navigate, how they use that echolocation. And they actually are learning a lot about um, bats by studying their wing tissue to learn how to make more flexible materials for flying. This is Leslie Sergis from a local bat conservation group called Save Lucy the Bat. She talked to us about different kinds of bats. She even brought in for one for us to see. Its name was Mooch. Now let's see what she says. All right. My name is Leslie Sturgis, and I'm the director of the Save Lucy campaign, and I'm here to talk to the Girl Scouts about how to help bats. Is there anything we can do to help bats in our community starting now? Sure. You can make sure your habitat stays clean and green, and you can do things like work in the parks to keep the parks clean. You can make sure the water stays unpolluted. You can pick up litter. You can just keep your eye on bats and make sure you're seeing them. And when you do see them, I forgot to tell you guys this earlier, but there, you can put your bat sightings on Project NOAA in the North American Bat Tracker. So if you see bats flying around, you guys can put it in that, and then we'll have a record of the bats that were out there. So those are some things you can do right now to help. What are predators to bats? Bats predators are surprising. Everybody thinks it's owls, but it really isn't because bats can outfly an owl. One of the most important predators around here is raccoons because they can find the bats while they're sleeping, and crows and hawks and blue jays and snakes. Um, and even a really big one that makes everybody pretty sad is cats because when people let their cats outside, they catch and eat a lot of bats. So now hopefully you have learned something about bats and why they're important to our world. For more information on bats, please check out these websites. We also want to thank a few people. Ms. Sturgis introduced us to some of the rescued bats she cares for at the Adverse of the Mooch, the big brown bat, and Storm, the silver one. We thought they were pretty cute. In this book channel, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service visited us help us learn lots of new facts about bats and just share with you. After spending some time with bats, here's what we all think of them now. Now that I've learned about bats, it, bats use echolocation. Bats eat obnoxious bugs that eat you. <laughs> now that I've done research about bats, I know that bats are the only flying unit. Now that I've done research on bats, um, I know that bats help our habitat. Now I just think they're cute furry animals to help us. Now I think bats are not scary, they're pretty cute, and now I kind of like them. Now I think bats are really cute. Now I think of bats as animals who help our world by eating insects. Now I think bats are not gross, cute, and they fly. Now I think, now bats are my favorite animals. Now I'm not really scared of bats. <laughs>
Now, after our research, I know that bats are crucial to our existence and they are the only mammal that can fly. <laughs> I now know that bats are small, cute animals that really help the environment. Now I know that bats help our community. Now I know that bats are cute and small and I would want one as a pet. Now I know that um, bats are white-nosed, cute little fly things. 